the Harper Competition Review, the right to repair, okay, so well, your yeah, average yeah, mechanic. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's, that's what else, activity. What else would you like to see happen? Well, we've got to keep pushing this on. Well, give me one. Okay, I'll give you one. I want to celebrate entrepreneurship like we celebrate our sporting heroes. That's what I want to see. Okay. So when I go to a dip, well, we talked about that last week, exactly. Yeah, and, and I feel really strongly about that. Yeah. I mean, we, we, you know, we've got celebrities that are are, are good at being celebrities. Mm. Why don't we hold up on a pedestal these enterprising? Well, will men the and women? prime minister have a prime minister day? I mean, why, what, yep. well, we talked about this last week. Yep. Will the prime minister yep. have a day? Once a year, where it's the Prime Ministerial Awards, of which you chair the committee that makes the decisions for small business owners, who's going to get the Prime Minister's Prime Ministerial Award for small business? Which is a great idea that I'm going to chase up. Because we've you got do an it? I Love Small Business Day. I've already managed to get that there, where we encourage the, the nation to stop and think about what an extraordinary contribution small business men ah, and women man, create. Absolutely. And, you know, and that's just because you ha- if you haven't been in it, if you haven't lived it, as some would say facetiously, live the dream of pillow talk of cash flow at night and all that sort of stuff. Sweat and bullets. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I mean, and we need to stop and say to people, you know, bear a thought for this. I mean, it's also why, and it seems odd, people say, why are you partnering with American Express on Shop Small Day? Why? Because they're doing something that says to people, if you like that strip shopping centre and you like the variety and the responsiveness and the personal interaction, put some of your hard earns into it put some of your hard earns into it. So I'm trying to get the broader public to celebrate small business, but then the public as consumers to empower and support small business because what I learn in my business, doesn't matter if you've got the best retail capability, i.e. my wife or my masters and all the best business plan around, there's no substitute for customers. So you, you would, in no terms of celebrating small business owners and encouraging yep. more people to take and actually... And I think your idea is a good one. Would you do it? I'll will you, chase will you it. talk to the Prime Minister? I will. I mean, I, I, you know, we'll happily be involved in it yeah, too. Well, you, might sort of thing. To, you might have to MC it. Well, we'll run it. you're better looking than well, me, well, but that's but, pretty uh, state uh, the obvious, well, really, isn't but, it? But so. uh, <laughs> one thing about all, all this, Bruce, is Telstra does a great job mm. every year. And Telstra, I know, I, you've done the Small Business Awards mm. for Telstra. I've done them for, from, the I think, the year before you did. They have invested $21 million it's over brilliant. 21 years. and But they're the, they're, they're, that's private enterprise yep. or semi-private yep. enterprise, I guess, doing this for business owners. But we need more of it in this oh, country. We, and like in other countries around the world, like Singapore and places, they absolutely celebrate yep. small business yep. owners as being... Not just we just not just the newspapers picking it up and sort of talking about them being the uh, you know the 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 engine room of Australia. It's too easy to say that. We got to make them. They deserve knighthood, as far as I'm concerned. Well, and this is the thing: we need to do that as much as we can. And also, it's a cultural shift, though, Mark. I mean, this is about valuing and celebrating entrepreneurship. Yeah, correct. What about if you could perhaps you know we might have another session in due course where you talk to the Prime Minister and say, let's have a day where we celebrate Australians in small business and family enterprise in the future. Like, it would be great if it was done in the next 12 months where, yeah. you know, like I got a, I, I got the, um, I'm a member of the Order of Australia and I got that medal. I'm very proud to have been given that medal, but I would gladly give it up if the Prime Minister and you decided to run something for small businesses because it's, that was very important to me and my family but I think honouring small business owners and entrepreneurs in this country is a far greater mm. thing to achieve. And I tell you what, you hang on to your Order of Australia and let's work to see if we can get another uh, um, attestation to it, which is Mark Boris helped to celebrate, highlight, elevate the nation's appreciation of these enterprising men and women in small business and family enterprises. I'll accept that if Bruce Wilson does alongside great. me. Yeah, well, well, we might look like twins, mate, separated at birth, but I'm prepared to take that risk. Um, you're obviously Arnie. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. No, that, that's great. That's great. I mean, I, I really think that's, that would be a great outcome from today. And if you don't mind, I would like to um, um, offer, put on the table for everybody who's listening, go to at Mark Boris and you come and you tell me what it is you would like us to put to the minister. We're going to continually feed him with the stuff that people yeah. out there, the small business owners, the family enterprise the owners, evidence. Evidence. what's going the on out there? What do you want? Yeah, yeah. What's not working? What is working? What would you like the minister to push for you in the next budget or push for you in the before the next budget? What is it you want to see? And we'll keep feeding that to you. Minister, thanks very much. It was awesome. Great to be with you.